This decision could save Marvel and set them up for many more years of success. Or it could be the final nail in the coffin, the decision that completely loses fans and also tarnishes the legacy of everything they've built in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Look, I'm not one of those people who want Marvel or Disney to fail. I actually miss the times when a Marvel movie would come out twice a year and it was basically guaranteed to be a great time. But a part of me is surprised at the announcement that Robert Downey Jr. would be returning to the MCU. Because honestly, I just didn't think they had the guts to do it. Whether you want to believe it or not, they're taking a huge risk reintroducing RDJ to the MCU. Let's talk about why. Is the door to Iron Man totally closed? Because I don't believe it is. Oh. You guys can go through time now. You can go, there's, there was, you know, you already know. opened up that door. Well, let me ask you the question. If I pick the jersey back up and put it on, wouldn't you feel a little bit like, oh, no. crap. No. Oh. Here's, here's what I think. Right. They go through a few semi-lackluster Avengers <laughs> movies without you. It doesn't take a genius to see why Marvel made this casting choice. Robert Downey Jr. is easily the fan favorite out of all the actors and actresses in the MCU. And it's his character that set up the entire Infinity Saga, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it. His character was given a satisfying ending that paid respect to both Tony Stark and fans of the MCU. It was a heartwarming farewell to the beloved character, and with his story done, Marvel could move on and lay the groundwork for the next decade of movies. But ever since Endgame, Marvel's been struggling to get their next phase up and running. Sure, they've introduced several TV series and additional movies since then, and sure, some of them have been successful but they've also suffered several box office flops, forgettable entries, and an overall general lack of direction, something that wasn't seen too often during the Infinity Saga. They've made it clear that they're all in on the multiverse, but it seems like they haven't been able to properly capitalize on it like they had hoped. It also didn't help that their next big bad, the one who's gonna be going toe to toe with the Avengers, was not only handled terribly in Ant-Man 3, but was also caught in a huge scandal, which ultimately led to him getting dropped by the studio. I think most people would say that the MCU has been on a decline since Endgame, barring a few exceptions of course. So why would Robert Downey Jr. agree to hop on a sinking ship, after cementing his legacy as one of the most beloved characters in movie history? Why come back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? So, like, so to answer your question, to me, uh, starting up again is off the table, I feel I've done all I could with that character. There would have to be a super compelling argument and a series of events that that made it obvious mm. to it. But the other thing is, I want to do other stuff. Right, of course. Yeah, you know? of course. Okay, aside from the fat check he's probably getting, this role will be a complete 180 from what he's done in the past as Tony Stark. So it'll be interesting to see how they explain him being alive again. I'm sure it'll have something to do with the multiverse since that seems to be the path of least resistance. And like I said earlier, they're kind of all in on it at this point. And after becoming an expert in comics, I know there's some sort of comic storyline involving Iron Man and Doom. But I didn't really want to get into any spoilers, and you probably don't either, so I'll leave it at that. Now, even if they make a valid explanation for RDJ's return, it also comes with huge risks. The first one being a financial one. I know I mentioned earlier that Marvel hasn't been seeing the levels of success that they're used to, and the hope is that having RDJ come back will draw in a lot of the old fans, which in turn will lead to higher revenue. But one thing a lot of people forget about is just how influential Robert Downey Jr. is. When you've been the face of this 10-year run at Marvel, well, let's just say you get to call the shots. It's no secret that when he was still around, Robert Downey Jr. was the highest paid MCU actor, with reports saying that he was paid around $75 million for his role in Endgame. Even without paying huge salaries like this, Marvel's still been struggling to turn a profit on some of their recent projects. The next few projects he stars in are gonna have to reach levels of success that were seen during the Infinity Saga, maybe even more so, since I'm sure movies have only gotten more expensive to make since then. And the second big risk is a brand one. If the decision to bring him back doesn't pay off like they had hoped, it can mean irreparable damages for the brand. Of course only time will tell, but initially, news of RDJ's return garnered mixed reactions from fans, with some happy to see him make a return, and others left confused. And that holds especially true for normies. How are people defending the RDJ casting? Yes, it's a variant, but like, how are you okay with this being the version of Doctor Doom we see in the MCU? Do they know they can cast other people? I mean, he's an amazing actor, but I really wanted Victor Von Doom to be his own person. Not just a Tony Stark variant, you know? This might be the restart of a peak MCU again. I'm praying that the movies take the forefront of importance over any TV series. IMO, I hope the TV series just stops altogether. RIP MCU. It was fun, and I'll watch it, 
but degrading Doctor Doom to an Iron Man variant is the cringiest thing that Marvel can do to save its ego. The MCU is back. Like I said, I hope they have a well thought out reason for his return. Otherwise, it'll only confirm people's suspicions about Marvel making a really desperate, half-assed attempt at salvaging what's left of their MCU. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Are you excited to see Robert Downey Jr. make a return in the MCU? And do you think it'll pay off for them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you made it to the end of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this. With all that said, thanks for watching and stay winning.